Yeah, so I finally got a fight date. Uh, my manager rang me up the other day and said that he spoke to the UFC and, you know, they've given me a date for me to kind of, you know, set my target on because at the moment it's all been a bit up in the air. But, you know, I have a fight date now, which I'm not allowed to announce, but I don't have an opponent yet. So I'm not sure if the UFC are waiting to see how a few of the cards go this weekend because I know there's a lot of bantamweights fighting. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know where this fight island is because I don't even know that yet either. Um, you know, it's all a bit up in the air. So until I get a contract over, you know, I guess nothing's 100%, but at the moment, you know, they've given me a date, they've given me a target. So, you know, for me, it's about getting fit, getting the weight down and making sure that I'm ready when, you know, the, the fight date comes. Coming off a loss with Dodson, in my eyes, it's, it's, it's almost like, you know, as John Kavanagh says, you either win or you learn. You know, I'm taking that as a win because I've learned now, I've come away and I'm going to be a better fighter than I was before that fight. Um, you know, I've got a lot of lessons that I've learned from that. I've been way too hasty. You know, my boxing coach always says that, you know, you've got to chop the tree down, you've got to take your time with it. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. You know, I've already started using that in my sparring and, you know, I feel like a better fighter from it. So, you know, I feel sorry for my next opponent because, you know, I wouldn't want to be fighting me now either. This fight camp, not much has changed in the sense of my training, but a lot's changed in the way I look at the fight. Um, you know, as I say, the last one I was a lot more hasty and I've got to learn to ease back a bit. You know, even in sparring, I'm always trying to win every second of every round and sometimes that's the wrong way to look at it. You know, sometimes you need to set traps. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to let, let guys think they may be getting the better of you and then, you know, you can capitalise on it. So, as I say, my training schedule's not really changed as much, other than obviously there's some more uh, lockdown rules in place now. But I'm definitely looking at the way I fight in a different light. Just make sure I'm the best at where I can be in each martial art. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure my jiu-jitsu's on point, I try and make sure my striking's on point. And, you know, in the UK, I, by far, I think I've got the best coaches in the world. I believe I've got the best team in the world. You know, and now I just need to come back and rectify that loss against Dodson, which I know for a fact I'll do. With, with the lockdown, um, I would say the first week was hell, you know, it was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm stuck in lockdown, I've got no training, I've got no training equipment. And I think within five days, you know, one of my friends, he donated me a bag. I had my coaches donate me all the weights that I needed. So believe it or not, in lockdown, I've been able to focus on a lot of areas that were maybe weaker before. Um, so, you know, I've really been able to focus on my strength conditioning, more upper body that opposed to, to the legs and stuff. Um, you know, I've been able to work on a lot of kind of basic fundamentals that I wouldn't normally focus on when I'm training for a fight camp. Um, I've, my dad, he's my striking coach you know so we've been in the garden luckily we've had nice weather every day focusing on what I would call the boring stuff you know it's fun coming to the gym and sparring going live getting fit ready for your fight but you know not many people go back to the basics of what work you know going back and working on your jab and your straight right and you know those sort of things I've been really able to focus on and I feel better for it, you know, I've, we combat athletes now, we are allowed to train together, so since coming back, I feel good, I feel amazing and the lockdown has made me appreciate the little things in life, so, you know, now being in the gym, I'm buzzing and that gives you that new motivation as such, you know, I appreciate things a lot more than I did before now. Um, so, you know, when I'm in the gym with Brad and the coaches, you know, I just make sure that I'm soaking in all that knowledge that I can and, you know, learning all the details that I possibly can be learning. At the moment, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, right, I've got this date set, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to win and I'm going to win comfortably. You know, I'm going to show the UFC that I'm better than the fighter that I was when I fought Dodson. And then I'd just like to get another date. Um, you know, maybe a holiday, 
after the fight, you know, because even though lockdown, I guess we haven't been doing nothing, I can't wait to just get away, get some proper sun, you know, and just chill out with my fiance for a bit on a beach and, you know, just relax. But, you know, until then, I need to fight and I need to make sure that, you know, I perform well and show the UFC what I'm capable of. I just want to give a big shout out to my sponsors, Scramble, for always looking after me. AJ Wakeford, who's the owner of Red King, you know, he's a real, he's a true supporter that's been with me from day dot. Even my own clothing brand, Prospect Apparel, you know, it's been a good little project that I've been doing, so check it out if you like anything, you know. Um, and yeah, you know, just thank you to my coaches, my, my family, you know, always supporting me in, in my training camps, you know, I wouldn't be the fighter I am today if it wasn't for my, my family and supporting me and what I'm doing and you know the people I've got around me I'm truly blessed so you know I'm just going to keep on uh, doing my thing and you know hopefully one day bring UFC gold back home from. One, two, three. GB! Top three.